Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Working on a Lexus today that got against a block wall. It'll give me a chance to show you the color and drive touch-up kit. Now, this has had an attempt to fill in some of the uh, chips and scratches, but we're going to use the, again, color and drive touch-up kit, which is a complete kit depending on your vehicle, vehicle specific. Uh, it comes with color. And if it's a pearl color, it's going to come in two steps. It also has a leveling fluid, a uh, little bottle of wax, and a little bottle of polish, a glove, instructions, a car, a leveling card, a um, uh, little paper towel, uh, two by two foot section of a towel for the leveling fluid, and a block to go with that. It comes with a complete kit. You also get some touch-up brushes, and uh, again, specific to your vehicle, so you would order using your year, make, model, and any other questions they would have for you. So to get started, the first thing we're going to do is remove the attempt to touch this thing up in the first place. Some simple watered-down economy paint thinner will do. Take your time, no need to scrub hard it will remove that touch-up paint rather easily. So this is where we stand and on the edge of the grill and then above that are two chips and then down below some more gouges, three or four gouges from getting against a rugged, jagged block wall. This is not going to be fixed perfectly. It's, we're doing this for improvement. If you want to fix it and make it look like it did before, you would go to a body shop. So we want to turn it into a, from a, a seven or an eight footer into a two footer meaning the closer you get you might see it at the right angle with the right amount of sunlight but from two foot or further you're not going to even see that there was damage there the first thing i want to do is just protect this strip here this trim we may need to do a little bit of color sanding and i also don't want to get any of the paint on that strip as well so here we have two of the color jars that they give. The first one, number one, is the base color. It's just a solid white, and that goes down first. And on top of that, number two is the pearl color. Obviously, goes on top and gives it the pearl effect. Now, of course, to get the paint from the jar to the surface, you can use any of the tools that are supplied. I absolutely love these Fine Line Fluid Writer uh, paint applicator pens. You can pick these up on Amazon, uh, single one or by the pack or by the dozen and uh, get it from the jar to the surface. No need to pour it in that little cup. You can dip the tip of the pen into the paint and transfer it that way. When it comes to technique, it's not going to be brush strokes like you're painting your favorite Mona Lisa. It's more like a stitch technique or like you're tattooing. You're just dabbing the paint into the valleys or the areas that are bare. Take your time. This takes patience. Maybe three or four loggers would help you get started. But... Uh, you do want to just take your time, take a deep breath, and fill in those areas without really overdoing it, putting too much of the paint in there, and uh, too much buildup makes it very visible. The areas that are peaks and body lines, it just had some of the surface scraped away. It only takes maybe one or two coats. If you have a gouge and you want to use that base layer to fill in, it may take multiple applications of the base layer let it dry and come in and fill it back in until that valley is is leveled up a bit
All right, that will take care of the edge right uh, along the grill trim piece. Now inside towards the middle of the bumper are four gashes and that's where it could take uh, a few rounds of filling it in with the base layer. Just take your time. If you don't, uh, fill it in and then let it cure and dry properly, which can take up to a couple hours to even overnight. Once you go try and polish it or wet sand it or level it, it could pull it right back out. So you could really go down the rabbit hole when it comes to putting time into these types of jobs. Keep it simple. Let those steps and those layers cure about 10 minutes in between your steps or, or longer. I, I wait longer. And then they have a leveling fluid within the kit that you can use to smooth things out a bit before moving on to the next step, which is the pearl coat that gives it the metallic look. And shake everything up vigorously and then layer it right on top of the base coat. You won't need to do this if you have a, a color that's a flat color or uh, a non-metallic or pearl layer. What I like about these kits is the pretty much OEM style paint that they send with is nice and thick. It's not watered down. It's not thinned out and it fills in nicely. And so far the kits that I've used have matched really, really well. The kits range anywhere from $39 to $59, and it depends on if it's a single layer, single step system, or something that's metallic or pearl like this is on the more expensive end. I could continue on with the fine line rider, or I switch over to one of the myriad of touch-up tools you can either get on Amazon or within the kits themselves. And I'll keep switching from one to the other just to show you that they all work. Just whatever suits you. Minimum of 10 minutes cure or dry time before you go to level it, but I'm gonna let it go for a couple hours. Let's start out where I could see the scratch at about 15 feet. I'll walk my way in slower and closer, and it won't be until you get about a foot away where you can see where the repair was. Somebody walking by the car casually will never see it happened. Again, to fix it properly like it never happened at all, you would have to go to a body shop, sand it all the way down to the material and respray. That wasn't an option here. The shop manager is, well, she seems a little bored or tired. So I'm just gonna keep working and I'll do it quietly so she can continue to nap. 
What we have here are two last steps you can do to kind of help the repair blend in with the surrounding surface. The first step here is a little jar of polish and you can put that onto a microfiber or use a pad. You don't want to be aggressive at all with this step. Next, there is a little tub or jar of wax, and this is to maybe give it a little bit of protection. It won't last long. I would rather seal it or coat it afterwards, but I'm sure it has some filling capabilities as wax does. So that will be the last step. There we go, a little bit better now. To my eyes, the customer was extremely happy, and I can tell you these kits, I enjoy them. I have no problem with them. They hold up, they work well, and I would recommend. Again, these are the color and drive kits. They have a website of their own, or you can find them on Amazon. And I would go ahead and give them an eight out of 10. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. Like, subscribe, share the videos if they help, and hit the notification bell.